Turkey state-owned defense company Asfit will export four unmanned mine-clearing vehicles to Burkina Faso. The sale of the mechanical mine-clearing equipment, Mehmet, to the West African country comes after the firm recently delivered the same equipment to Azerbaijan, the first country to buy the minesweepers. The Mehmet was tested in Baku, Azerbaijan, where it detonated all mines laid in the field. Currently, the Mehmet is being used there to clear remaining mines placed in contested areas by Armenia. The vehicle is both less time-consuming and safer in mine-clearing operations, Anar Karimov of the Azerbaijani Defense Ministry told reporters. The Mehmet features more advanced technology compared to older models. The machine's design, prototyping, and production took only 14 months, then being ready for service with the Turkish Armed Forces. The Mehmet is explosion-resistant, moves more quickly, is considered more reliable, and has a lesser risk of loss of life during operation compared to previous technology. The British Armed Forces has signed a £250 million, $349 million contract with BAE Systems to develop the next generation of air combat, the Defence Secretary announced on Thursday. Also known as Tempest, the future combat air system will be a next-generation air combat system featuring new capabilities and technologies, including unmanned aircraft. The contract will include digital and physical infrastructure investment, putting the project on a digital first footing, with virtual testing and simulations, significantly reducing production costs. The contract is part of a more than £2 billion, $2.8 billion total investment in air power by the UK government over the last four years, made possible through a recent £24 billion, $33.5 billion increase in defence spending. Officially announced last year by the Prime Minister, the Future Combat Air System project is expected to bring the next generation of air combat technology to the British Air Force around 2030. General Atomics has unveiled a design for its long-shot missile-carrying air-to-air combat drone that can be launched from a manned aircraft, while in mid-air. DARPA's long shot is a program to extend the range of human-powered aircraft by including an armed of as part of the weapons platform. This will manned aircraft to operate at a safer distance when engaging threats beyond the range of enemy weapons. It could initiate a fighter sweep ahead of a strike wave without putting a human crew in danger, or it could join an attack alongside the Vanguard with human crewed warplanes. Through the program, older aircraft such as legacy bombers could be given new life by incorporating this new aerial combat technology. Imagine if a friendly bomber were en route during a combat mission and allied battle networks detected the approach of hostile fighters, General Atomics said. Longshot would let the bomber crew go on offense against the threat without the need for its own escorts, or the retasking of friendly fighters, preserving its ability to service its targets as planned. The United States Air Force has delivered two CH-47F Chinook helicopters to Australia in a gesture to strengthen their alliance. The delivery is part of the U.S. Defense Department's foreign military sales program and was organized by the 9th Airlift Squadron at Dover Air Force Base. CH-47F helicopters were loaded onto a C-5M Super Galaxy and transported from Dover to the Royal Australian Air Force Base in Townsville, Australia. 9th as air crew, upon delivery, officially turned over the two Chinooks to the Australian Army, where they will soon be assigned. Our unshakable alliance with Australia is enabled by airmen and their personal connections with members of the Australian Defence Force, said Colonel Aaron Brooks, USAF Indo-Pacific Division Chief. The Indian government will wrap up the country's acquisition of 30 US-made MQ-9B Predator armed drones next week. The Indian Navy was initially not keen on the $3 billion acquisition. Bloomberg first revealed India's plan to acquire the General Atomics drones in March. According to the plan, each of the three service branches, the Army, Navy, and Air Force will receive 10 drones. The military is reportedly satisfied with the performance of two unarmed Sea Guardian, the naval version of the Reaper. India signed another lease with Israel to acquire four of its latest Heron surveillance drones for three years. The Predator deal, first approved by the Trump administration in 2019, will be India's first armed drone acquisition from abroad.